here in the Hoeing Valley today to ask people to slow down at, at least for 21 days. Let's try to get control of this virus. It is raging out of control. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine returns to the Mahoning Valley, making another plea for people to stop gathering and adhere to state guidelines, including a curfew that starts tomorrow. And the curfew begins tomorrow night at 10 o'clock and it will last until 5 a.m. Governor DeWine believes that this curfew, which will go in for three weeks, will help slow the spread of COVID-19. We have team coverage tonight on DeWine's visit and an update on hospitals treating those infected with the virus. We begin with Aaron Simonek. Good evening, Aaron. That's right, Derek and Lindsay. The governor is holding firm that he wants to avoid any additional business closures, but he also acknowledges that the virus is spreading so rapidly that he even said today the Mahoning Valley is on fire with cases. So I pressed him on whether the new curfew goes far enough and why he isn't considering any more drastic measures so far. They're leaving the bar and then they're then they're going out and they're going out and, 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 and being together. They no longer legally will be able to do that. At a stop at the Youngstown Warren Regional Airport, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine gave more insight as to how the new 10 p.m. curfew for Ohioans could actually combat the spread of the virus. Bars will not only not be able to serve alcohol, they will have to close at 10 o'clock. That's the difference. Restaurants will have to close at 10 o'clock. That is different. DeWine's main focus was explaining how restaurants must stop serving drinks and close at 10. He said this will help control groups like college students who choose to stay finishing drinks or head to another social setting past 10 p.m. Anytime you can reduce contact between people, you when you have as high a rate as we do now, you are going to reduce the spread. Governor DeWine told me he's hopeful the federal government will release a second stimulus package soon to help with unemployment and small businesses, but says he plans to still stick with his plan of not shutting the state down, even if there was more money coming in from the federal government. DeWine remained confident, saying this curfew is a step in the right direction to help slow case numbers. Well, this is a dramatic act. Uh, it is sending a signal uh, that We've got to get serious about this. The 10 p.m. curfew extends for 21 days and begins Thursday. With more local news, I'm Erin Simonek.